Hello everyone, welcome to Scrapbooking with Imperi to Give. So today I'm going to start my Christmas project here on YouTube. Okay, and for start, what a better way to start with a mini album. So I have prepared everything for this video without faster videos. Okay, so this is going to be a video with no fasten. So this is going to be uh, I hope a quick video. So for start, I want to show you the papers that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the first Noel for um, Petromania. This is the collection. This is a six by six pack, and it has 32 papers. And the papers are very, very lovely. It's very Christmas papers. Okay, so I hope you can see. I have not chosen yet which is going to be my cover I will pick up um, the next video because on this video I'm not going to use the collection yet so we are just going to build the, um, the pages and all of that so this can go on the side and I got this the, I, got, uh, I found a tutorial here on YouTube on the, the, the sweetest album ever and it's so simple to make you couldn't ever believe and you can change it whatever you want I just changed a little thing on the video that I saw and I will show you what that was and you can change more from the the base of the pages okay you, you can change everything on this I didn't change anything but I will show you some ideas so you can do it so I have four pages completed so this is one page and you have a lot of room for pictures you have this first page with a pocket and the other option is not have a pocket on the front so over here you have a pocket and over here you don't have a pocket and when you open you don't have a pocket on this side but on this side you will have a pocket and then on both of them you have these two long pocket tiles and then you have a pocket over here and on this you will have the pocket too and there's a pocket long pocket over there and here is the opening from the binding system and over here again the pocket and the binding system so I'm gonna do three of these kind of uh, pages and I have four already made so that's where we are going to start and I have already cut the, the sheet part for the cover and the, the spine and I have already the, the, the binding system and I'm using the waterfall in the paper trail the stack the deck uh, binding system although I don't use the three corner space like she did and I do the half an inch space that my prefer and so we don't need this and we don't need this I will give you the measurements when it, we go on this okay so I'm going to put it on the side like this and let's get started first we need our stone board I'm just going to bring mine from here now and from each page so remember all of this is a page okay all of this is one page only so from each page you will need a piece of cardstock that measures 10, uh, 11 by eight and a half okay so for all the album you need six pieces like this so it's 11 by uh, eight and a half 11 by eight and a half and you're gonna place the this cardstock on your scoring board on the 11 inch side, okay? And you're going to score the half an inch, four and a half inch, five inch, five and a half inch, and you're going to score it in half, uh, ten and a half inch. But mine doesn't go away there, so I'm gonna rotate the paper and score it at a half an inch over here okay so again half an inch four and a half five 
five and a half and ten and a half. And then you're going to rotate it, to rotate it, and place it on the eight and a half. And you're going to score it at six and a half inches. Okay, so I have another one to make, so let me do it very quickly. So half an inch, four and a half, five, five and a half, and ten and a half, and rotate it, and six and a half. Okay, and then you will have for each page, so you need six of these to make an album, a seven and a half by five inch piece of cardstock and you're going to score the half an inch on both sides of the seven and a half inches, so half an inch and seven inch, okay? And I have another one to make, so half an inch and seven inch. So again, try one album needs six of these. And you're going to need four, uh, I'm sorry, two for each page. So we need a total 12. I'm <laughs> sorry, my math is terrible. So you need 12 that will measure four and a half by something is not quite well over here. Mistake. So this is here. I think I missed one. Yeah, I'm going to cut it in a few. So you need two pieces for each page that measures four and a half by four and a corner. And on the four and a corner side, you're going to score half an inch and three and three corners. So you have half an inch on each side. Okay, on the four and the corner sides. I need two for each page. So let's do that. And I'm going to need to cut another one. Because I cut that one over there shorter. And I don't want anything shorter. So I need another one. So let's just try and corner. Okay, I'm going to, to cut it. No, it's not going to work. So I'm going to need to cut another one. So let me do that very quickly. I hope. And you're going to, not going to need to score anything else. So I'm just going to see myself cutting it with more cardstock. I don't know if any of this will work. Let me see. Nope. So I'm going to cut. Four and a half by four and a corner. So four and a half, four and a corner, four and a corner. Four and a half. Okay, so very quickly, very quickly. Because I cut one with the wrong measure. Okay. So hopefully is this. Yes. So I need to score that. So on the floor and the corner side as half an inch and three three corners. So anyhow. This is the one. So one, two, three, four, and you need two for each page, okay? So I'm gonna grab one of the biggest and you will see that you have one smaller size side and a big side. The small side will go on your left side every time. Okay, 
so because there's something over here that you need to see and you need to pay attention to that but I will show you what it is so before I reinforce my scores you will have this half an inch uh, scores over here and you need to cut all of this part right to the six and a half uh, inch uh, score over there okay so that's why what I'm going to do I'm going to cut this out and you're going to do that on each side okay and you want to remove it okay so you want to remove this over here and this part over here. You want to take this out. So you will left with something that looks like this. Okay, with these tabs over here. And you have these three score lines over here. And what you're going to do, and I will try to show you and I hope you'll notice, you have the, the middle one, you're going to cut all the way to the six and a half inch score, and then you go to the side. Cut this and cut this. So you can have flat like this. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do I. I'm going to cut a T thing and then you're going to do it. Okay, and you will have these tabs over here. Okay. So you have tabs on each side. So you can see this part is smaller than this. This is 4 inch and we will be 5 inch. And you have these three scores over there. Okay, so I'm going to do this on the other. This that I just make. So I'm going to take the tabs. One side. From the other side, just like that. I'm going to remove them. I'm going to cut this middle core over here and make it T. And I will have this flat over there. So there you have it. Now you need to reinforce all, of, all your scores. Go ahead and do that. And over here too. And over here too. So on three of these, what you're going to do is you're going to put some score tape on these tabs on the folding position. That way you will have you will do this pocket over here and the other pocket on the other side. Okay? So let's do that. Scarf tape. Let me just open it. Okay. Scarf tape on the folding position. I'm now using half an inch. Half an inch here and here. Okay. Scrot it on the folding position on all of that. And then you're going to minor your corners. Okay. 
and you're going to remove the back of the tape of the double side tape Then you're going to stick down and make sure it is all nicely glued. See, you have these two pockets over there, and then you have the three scores. You're gonna grab the the middle one up so you can make a mountain, just like this. Okay, then you go on the back and you're going to place a little bit of score tape on one of those spaces of the half an inch space. Okay, just like that. I'm just going to pass the bone folder so it can adhere better and you're going to remove the backing tape. And you're going to fold it for it and bring it up. Okay, you will have this tab over here. Okay, so for now, that's what I'm going to do over here. On um, the other one, it's almost the same thing. The only thing is on the long side, you're going to fold the tabs from the pocket in the folding position and apply score tape on the long side, okay? Mine are your corners and stick it down just like you did on the other one. So minor corners. And stick this down just like we did on the other. Maybe reinforce this, but it will work perfect anyway. Okay, so you have the pocket, and on this one, instead instead of bringing it up, you are going to bring it on the back. Okay, and you have the tabs going up. Okay, so you can see this is what it look like normally, right? Instead of bring this up, you are going to bring this back and make a pocket on this side. So you just need to flip over the pocket and stick it down on the other part, so just that. So you're going to apply some score tape again. And many your corners. Okay, and you're going to bring this up and stick it down and you will have this pocket over here okay. and you don't have a pocket over there. One thing you can do too is to eliminate one, the two pockets, the other pockets, whatever you want, just by cutting to this score line and eliminate this pocket for example. You can eliminate them. Or you can eliminate this one. You can never bring this pocket to over here. Okay, that's one thing you cannot do is bring this pocket over here, and I will show you why. Okay, but you can eliminate the pocket or the other pocket. You can leave the both 
on the middle part, you can bring this to the back, or you can take it off, or you can take this one off. Okay, they will not mess with your structure. Okay, so that's one thing. So I just need to put this down. So as you can see, you can play around with these kind of pages. Okay. So and now I just need to bring this up and you you wanna bring this up always like this with the, the shorter part on your left and the right and your biggest one on your right side and bring this up just like this and not on the opposite part like this. You can do it but I figured out that it's not going to work pretty so I prefer like this. I probably make a video uh, an album with this on the other side but for this particular one I think it's going to be better over here. Okay, so what we need now is to apply some tape over here and stick it down. And if I am making it too confusing on your head, <laughs> please let me know. Leave a comment and I will try to to explain myself better. Okay. Okay, so that's it for now. So we have this now. So one has the pocket on the front, and the other one has the pocket on the back, and both have this pocket over here. What you are going to do now is to grab that piece that measures the seven and a half by five and which he has cut half an inch on each side, so half an inch and seven inch. We're going to reinforce that scores. Apply some score tape. On the folding position. I'm going to apply them both at the same time. And you need six of these to make an album. Okay? One for each um, page. So again, minor corners. Okay. Bring your pages and on the back of the long page you're going to adhere this on the back of that. So we'll make this side pocket over there. And the other opening is for the binding. Okay. Go ahead and stick that down. So that's one. Okay, I'm going to stick the glue the other on the other page. So 
So on the back of the long page that should measure the 5 inches by 6 and a half. Just like that, and then you have the pockets on the side. Now, for these tabs over here, is where we are going to attach these two long pocket pages. Okay, so to do that, you have two for each page that measures four and a corner by four and a half, and we have made the half an inch and the three and three corners score. Okay, we're going to reinforce them. And I have four over here because I'm making two pages. We're going to apply score tape on that set. I want to make sure I'm doing this properly. Okay, you're going to pass your bone folder and minor your corners. Okay, just going to take this all out here. These little pieces make my head go crazy. I don't like them. Okay, so you have this. You're going to remove the back of those of them. Alright, and you're going to stick, you're going to glue the four and a half corner by four and a half piece of paper on it. So. You have this tunnel stuff. Okay, you just need to make sure it is nicely glued. 
the other three I have. You need two of these Kuno um, pages for each page. And you can also eliminate one of them and just have one. All depends on how you want to have your pages. And you can actually make without these pages by eliminating this tab over here. Okay? And you reduce the size or you can get them on that side. So it's amount of possibilities with this kind of uh, pages. Okay, one left. So now you have this tab over here. What you're going to do is you're going to grab one of these. I should have my pencil somewhere over here. And I can find it. Where is it? You're going to grab one of these. You're going to place it on the bottom like that. You're going to basically you're going to mark on this tab where is the finish part of it. Okay, just like this. So this is the finish of the bottom one and the beginning of the other one. Okay. And the reason why you're making this mark over here is because you're going to need to cut this in half. Just like so. Okay. I'm going to do that on the six pages. And grab your double side tape and go around with the tape. Around this tab. Make sure you don't glue the tabs together again because you want them separated. Okay. Just like that. And you are going to minor the corners on here too. First let me make on this. your bone folder so you can make sure the tape is very well adhered to your cardstock and minor your corners. Just like so. Okay. Need to do this six times. I already make four times, so I'm making the five and the seven, the six times. Okay. Now I just need to take the back of your score tape.
And what you're going to do is you're going to grab, oh, and I have my sun coming into my eyes. So just okay. Now I'm better. <laughs> so you're going to grab one of these and you're going to place it. I'm going to try to show you like this. Oh, and I have. It. I'm going to try to make my left hand. So you're going to insert your pages on that tab, just like this. And I need to make this on the table. And you need to make sure it goes right to the end, okay? Like this. So the tab is inside of the page. I need to put just a little bit from over here so it doesn't go all the way down. This is not coming as well as I want, so I'm gonna try to peel it off and stick away. So anyway, okay. So you have these two webs in the middle. Okay. So I'm gonna do the exactly same thing on the other one. It's very simple to make this. The only thing you need to make six, <laughs> so you can have a complete album. But you can make four, and you have a stunning album too. But I like to make them more tricky. So I'm making it six pages. You need to make sure this is zero. So there you have it. Your pages. One with the pocket on the front and the other one with the pocket on the back. All of them have these two flaps, all of them has this pocket and all of, that, all of them has this one over here. So the reason why you can't move this pocket to the back is because you're going to have to have this open over here to the binding system. Okay, That's the only reason. But you can eliminate it. You can put this down. You cannot you can take this off, but I prefer with the pockets. Okay, so that's all about to you. So now I have my six pages. So as you can see right now, it's a very strong album. Without papers, without anything, and it's... I like it. Okay. And now what we need to do, we're going to make the binding system. So again, it's follow, the following the paper trail. My scoring board. And we're going to need one piece that measures the six and a half by two and a corner and you're going to score this half an inch on each side you're going to rotate 
and score half an inch. Okay, so you have uh, one and a corner space over here and a half an inch on each side. I prefer the half an inch. Laura make three corners, but I prefer the half an inch. Okay, but you can make the three corners too. And then you're gonna need one that measures six and a half by one and three corners, and again half an inch on each side. Okay, you will have uh, the what? So this is the two, the uh, the one and a corner, yeah, space. And this is the three corner space. That's it. Three corner space over here, and the last one should have a corner space. So half an inch on each side, half an inch on each side, and this piece measures six and a half by one and a corner. So. One piece that measures six and a half by one and a corner, and you're going to score half an inch on each side. You have a corner space in between them, and the other piece should measure one and three corners, and you're going to score half an inch on each side, and you have a space of three corners between them, and all of them at six and a half. Y space and this is two and a corner and you're going to score half an inch and then half an inch and you're going to have a one and a corner space between them. Okay. Sorry about the noise. You're going to reinforce that score line. And I will not adhere the pages yet to this, I'm just making this. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we're going to stack each one like this. Okay, so first we are going to apply score tape on the back of the big one just on the back okay on the front nothing on the back of the middle one and on the back of the small one And you need to use a strong adhesive to make this, okay? Because you don't want this to fire off. Okay, so now you're going to stick them together like a sandwich, okay? So you're going to start with the middle one, take the backing, and you're going to Center it in the middle of the one and a corner inch space. So it's going to have like a corner space between them. And make this eye. I don't measure. And you're going to reinforce that. So you can make sure it is nicely glue. Okay. So there you have it. And you're going to place the small one on the top of them. So again, one space of one corner between them. Okay. And there you have it. 
your binding. Now you want to apply score tape on all around these tabs over here. So the way I do it is I make like this. Okay, and then I go around. So I make one side. You can see that the one side, and then I go around. One side. Then. I go around no, I, <laughs> I do this part anyway. And you need to make sure this is well stick down the cardstock. And you have the back too. Now you need to minor the corners on all of them. So you end up with something that looks like this. Okay, on the back. And you're going to put this on the side because we are going to use this on the next video. But first, I don't know how much time. It's a long time now. First, we're going to stick down our chipboard on our cardstock so we can have the, the, the cover of our mini. So you're going to need a six and a corner uh, sorry six and three corners by five and a corner two pieces so five and a corner by six and three corners and the middle one is one and a corner by six and three corners okay so you can stick down this perfectly on top of it. So you're going to scrap, grab, grab your score tape and apply it around your sheetboard.
there you have it. Reinforce all of those with your bone folder. Okay. Then you're gonna start with the biggest one, with the one of the biggest. Because we have two that measures six and a, six and three corners by five and a corner. And then you're going to stick this over here. And this is just a scrap of um, cardstock that I have left, so I don't have the measurements for that. Now we take the small piece, and the way I like to do is I like to place my ruler center with this, and I place the the next piece straight in the ruler and with um, oh my god this is not correct this is not correct so anyway <laughs> this should be um, six and three corners and I think this is six and a half hmm. so I cut them by Seven. So the problem with this, try to take this off. And I probably have the measure over there. A bit. So I cut them by six, by seven, and six and three corners. Let me try to mark this. So they should have. Six and three corners, not six and not seven like I cut. I think. Okay. It's going to be difficult, but okay. So let me do this again. So six and three corners, and I have this with seven and five. Okay, correct. So I just need to take corner on each one. I have to make on this side. And because it has the um, the tape, that's the reason I'm not cutting with the ruler. Okay, that's it. Okay, so now it's correct. So as I was saying, and I hope this six and three corners, because now I don't have sure. Yes. So you place your ruler. And for example, I have this on the six inch mark. And now I'm going to put the small piece on one eighth of an inch. So six and one eighth of an inch mark. Okay. And that you have a gap of a one eighth of an inch. Okay. So I can do like this. Okay. And again, the other one is going to take the backing seal.
Okay, so again, one eighth of an inch of separation. And by placing the rule like this, you're going to have sure that this is straight. Okay, one side and on the other side. Now we're going to flip over and reinforce all of this. And I'm just going to cut a little bit from here. And from here. Now I'm going to grab this little thing, it's called Field Cabillo in Portugal, in Portugal, and what that does is it cuts perfectly the corner, so you can see it leaves a tiny bit over here, kind of 8 of an inch over here, so when I bend this, it will cover that corner perfectly. What this does. I don't know how to call this little thing. Here it's called fuse cabillo. And one another thing I like to do with this is I want to add the same measure on this flat. Now with my ruler, I go there and I cut this out. Okay. Now you just need to grab some scar tape again and go around like this. Make sure that you stick it down perfectly and stick down this thing. I just need to bring this up. Okay, so this is going to be the size of our album on all of the pages will go inside. Okay, so it's going to be a good size of the album. Okay, so next video we are going to start decorating the pages. So see you on part two of the first Noel. I think it's first Noel. Yeah, it's first Noel mini album. So. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.